Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the Frosty Mesh Importer update version 1.2. So this tutorial is going to cover um, all of the changes in, in the Frosty Mesh Importer. Uh, first and foremost being the name. Uh, it was formerly called the Frosty Res Chunk Importer, uh, but that name was unnecessarily over specific uh, because the program imports meshes so we should call it the mesh importer now the frosty mesh importer version 1.2 tutorial so a lot has changed in this update um, I'm going to be going over the three uh, main changes which are you can now you can now link the importer directly to your frost meshy output folder um, you can do batch operations, uh, meaning you can import and revert multiple mesh sets at the same time, either from your uh, linked frost meshy output or from the new uh, import history uh, window. And then also there are pop-up message boxes for errors and warnings now. So you don't have to um, be looking at the log all the time. If there's a critical error or some kind of warning or something, it'll pop up in a message box. Okay, so here we are in Frosty Editor, which I've opened via the Frosty Mesh Importer Executable, um, placed in the uh, install location of my Frosty Editor. So, if I just go ahead and open up a mesh, you can see we have all the, the old buttons from the original version, and then we have three new buttons. I already made a tutorial about how to use these buttons, um, how to use the standard import feature, and I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description because I'm not going to go over it again. Um, so, Firstly, I'm going to go over how to link your Frost Meshy output folder directly into Frosty Editor so you can import meshes straight from Frost Meshy. So, um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the assets from my Tarkin mod. I have five mesh sets here. Um, and remember, whenever we are whenever we are importing meshes, we need to export the res files for those mesh sets using this export res button. So I'm going to open the res chunk explorer. And also whenever you're importing a mesh, you have to have an asset tab open and the res chunk explorer tab open. So I'm just going to go ahead and export the res files for these mesh sets. Okay, now that I've exported those res files for each of those mesh sets, I'm going to run Frost Meshy. There we go. And then now if I go down to my Frost Meshy output, you can see those mesh sets are all in the output. Now this output folder is the one that I want to link to the Frosty editor. So I just go up here and click link source. And then in this file browser, choose my output folder. Okay, and it's gonna tell me the folder that I've chosen, okay. And then to import from that output folder, I just click source import. And it loads in all of the mesh sets and I can choose one or control click, choose multiple or just shift click. I'm gonna shift click and choose all of them. And then go ahead and hit import. And it imports all the chunk and res files because I 
uh, exported the res files using this export res button. If I hadn't done that, then it would not have been able to import the res files automatically, and it would give me a message box um, telling me how many files I need to import manually. Now this source import is linked directly to the FrostMesh output folder. So in if I go into FrostMesh and run it again and uncheck one of the mesh sets, then in my output, you see I only have four mesh sets. And then if I go to my source import, I only have four mesh sets. So every time you click this source import, it's going to reload the mesh sets from that output. So it gets the most recent output from the last time you ran FrostMeshy. This function actually makes it so you don't need to use the, the standard import mesh and revert mesh buttons. You can still use those, um, but this just makes it a lot easier because you can connect it to just one, because you can connect it directly to your uh, one frost meshy output folder and then have access to all of the mesh sets in there within frosty editor and next up we have the history window which if you click on that this is going to bring up a window which shows you all of the meshes that you have imported in in this session um, so this gets cleared every time you close the programs this is a history log. It's not telling you what meshes you have currently imported. If um, if I just go and revert, um, say, the DO mesh set here, if I revert that and go into my history, DO mesh set is still going to be here because this is my import history. Now, this history is different from the import from source because if you have multiple frost meshy um, outputs for for one project, um, then you with this source import you can only load one output folder at a time, but your history will tell you everything that you've um, imported in this session. So what you can do with this. Um, history list is you can select meshes and you can choose to re-import them or revert them. So if uh, if I I believe I just reverted the DO mesh set so I can in this menu I can just go into my history and click re-import and it'll re-import that for me. Um, I can also revert it. Um, and I can do that for for any and all of these. So I can revert all of them. And now if I check my, my res explorer, you can see there's nothing here. Nothing has been imported. It's all been reverted. And then I can re-import all of it and I got an error. Um, the Imperial Armor mesh set path does not exist because I, the last time I ran Frost Meshy, I had unchecked that. So, so it's just giving me a warning that it's not going to import that mesh set. It's totally fine. Another thing that you can do in the history window is you can see there's this remove reverted meshes from list checkbox. And if I check that, then any mesh that I, any mesh set that I revert will be removed from this list. It'll be removed from the history and won't be able to be re-imported um, from, from history. So if I revert the, the DO mesh set and select remove reverted from list and revert that and then go back to my history, you can see that it's gone. So to just go over everything one more time, Link source allows you to connect a um, frost meshy output folder directly into the frosty editor. And then source import is going to allow you to import files, import one or more mesh sets directly from that output folder that you've linked to. History uh, allows you to manage all of the mesh sets that you have imported in this session and is going to allow you to 
reimport or revert um, multiple mesh sets. So that's about it for this tutorial. There's a written tutorial for how to use all of these new features in the uh, source code documentation, which I'll leave a link to in the description. If you have any troubleshooting questions, you can also reference the documentation or feel free to message me on the Battlefront modding discord at TigerVenom22. But that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.